Hey everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys around one of the coolest RetroPie themes available today, and that's Hursty's Pop Combo theme. So let's dive into it with the tour. All right, so here we are in Hursty's Pop Combo theme for RetroPie. We're going to jump through this collection by collection and see exactly what this has to offer. I'm using this on my 512 gigabyte build with over 15,000 retro video games on it. So we're going to be able to see exactly what this has to offer with that many collections. So first one here is our configuration options page. Really cool. I love that he added configuration and options to the um, main image here because a lot of different themes add that in differently. So when I do tutorial videos, I always have to say both of those titles because you never know what everybody is going to have that populating in as on their particular theme. We also have those settings gears there, which is also another indication that you're going to be able to access all your settings within here. So continuing on, we're going to get into our first retro gaming collection, and that's Sony PlayStation. Of course, we got to have Crash Bandicoot as our character on here. So we have Crash Bandicoot in the box, and then on the labeling of the box itself, we have the Sony original PlayStation console peeking out, which is really cool. Love the choice in colors here. Everything looks great. We also have the RetroPie logo on there. And check out the details at the bottom. It says, warning, retro gaming is addictive. That's so cool to see on there. Just amazing details on here. He really spent a lot of time covering everything. So we'll continue on. We have Nintendo 64. Great colors on here. Of course, we have the original console there too. We also have a game count for each of these collections. So here we have 302 games available. And if we jump in here, you can see how each of these is going to populate in. We have our text list on the left-hand side. Dead center there, we have some information that's scrapable data for each of our titles. So here tells you how many players you can play with on this game, when it was released, the genre of the title, times played, and when it was last played. So haven't been into this title in quite some time. Up at the top, we obviously have our video preview of the title. We would also have audio and in fact, background music here. I've just gone ahead and muted all of the audio for the sake of this video. We also have a rating down in the bottom left corner we have a screenshot, logo, and box art in the center there. And then the right, we have the same image that we opened the collection with. So we'll go back out, continue on. Here we have Super Nintendo Entertainment System. We've got Mario Ride and Yoshi, great color scheme there. Super Nintendo Hacks, and each of your Hacks collection is going to have that console there that is actually with that... Um, neon green sort of look and also it's going to be in a green box so there's consistency across the board with this um, theme which is great to see now this is the only collection i've come across that doesn't populate into this theme and that's the super nintendo msu1 not a large collection by any means not super popular to have so certainly not an issue that it's not included here here we have super famicom we have nintendo entertainment system and a cool thing when we have mario in multiple uh, images is we don't reuse the same image. Each one of these is going to be different throughout the entire theme. Same thing goes for Sonic and some of the other collections that are going to share characters. So here we have NES hacks. Again, we have the console there and the box in that neon green. Famicom disc system, Nintendo Famicom, Sega Dreamcast, Sega CD with Sonic, Sega 32X with Spider-Man, Sega Genesis. Again, Sonic on here, but different than the one up here. And we're going to see some more Sonics here too. So here's Genesis Hacks. Since it's Hacks, you can see that we have that neon green console with the same sort of green box. Mega Drive Japan. And we'll jump in here as well. You can see laid out very much the same as the one we jumped into prior. So we'll back out. Sega Master System. Again, Sonic, but a different Sonic. Sega SG-1000. Super Graphics, Turbo Graphics CD, Turbo Graphics 16, PC Engine CD, regular PC Engine, Neo Geo, Arcade Classics. Check out the details on the cabinet there on the box. Just amazing. You've got Pac Man jumping out of the screen. Just really sharp. Look at the marquee up top. Just amazing details on here. The Thomas Wave, same deal with the cabinet there. Awesome work could tell that a lot of time was spent on these cabinet images. Sega Naomi, again, awesome. Love the marquee, love the body of the cabinet. Daphne, this is a sharp one too, with Dragon's Lair on there. Open Beats of Rage, we've got He-Man. So you could tell that 
the creator of this knows his stuff. He knows that He-Man is one of the most popular titles within Open Beats of Rage. We have the Atari, so Atari 1800, Atari 5200, 2600. Awesome to see ET on there. That is an iconic game, a frustrating game, but certainly iconic for Atari 2600. Um, I did a video on that game, and it was 20 minutes of me just being super frustrated trying to navigate through that game. Um, just at this point, it's one of the worst games ever made, but it's so iconic, um, even if it is iconic for being such a frustration. So in television here, Calico Vision, Atari Lynx here with Batman. I think that's awesome to have Batman for that particular one. Makes sense. Game & Watch, Nintendo Game Boy. Nintendo Virtual Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Sega Game Gear, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Sony PSP, Sony PSP Minis, Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan Color, Commodore Amiga, Commodore Amiga CD32, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, MSX, MSX2, Odyssey 2, Residual VM, Texas Instruments, Vectrex, Sharp X68000, Sinclair, ZX, Scum VM, one of my favorite and oftentimes overlooked collections here. You got your classic computer games in here. That's an awesome, awesome image there. Really sharp. Love the color scheme. Really cool to see. Continuing on, we have our game ports. Cody Media Player with the uh, film reel in there. That's cool. And we are back to our options menu. Now you can also get graphics for, and I'm surprised I don't have them on here, but your master list if you want a master list on your setup. Also for last played and favorites. And I think I have those disabled here. I can go into my main menu and I believe they're under game collection settings. And if we went in here, we could turn those on custom game collections. And I also actually have a whole bunch of custom ones here. So I'm going to enable all of these real quick. All right, so everything loaded in. So we're going to go up now. Since we already went down, we looped through, came back to options. Now that I've added all those in, we can go up here. Here is custom collections. So if I jumped in here, I have a bunch of subcategory collections. Uh, Super Nintendo picks, Genesis picks, arcade one-up games. And then we have, of course, all of the genre titles here. So these are going to populate in within here with all of that scraped data which is really cool. So we'll back out, we'll continue upwards. So here we have Zelda. This is a custom Zelda collection. Again, the theme adds in all of this amazing artwork. So here we have Wonder Boy. We have Williams Classics, it's great arcade games in there. Trackball Classics, tons of great stuff. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Terminator Collection. Street Fighter, Star Wars. For Star Wars, we've got that uh, Yoda from the Clone Wars series, Sonic Collection, SNK uh, Classics, Shoot 'em Ups, just an amazing assortment of stuff. And these are some Sega Classic collections that I put together. Uh, Robocop Collection, Racing Games, Puzzle Games, look at that with the Rubik's Cube, that's awesome. Pitfalls, cool. Pac-Man, awesome stuff. Nintendo Classics, Namco Classics, Mortal Kombat, Midway, Metroid, Metal Slug, Mega Man, Mario. And again, Mario is different than all the previous images of Mario. So really cool to see. Light Gun, look at the details there. We got the Sindin Light Gun in the um, pop packaging. And then look at all the detail on the cabinet there. We've got Light Gun on the marquee with the bullets as the marquee background. Just great stuff there. We've got the guns on the side of the cabinet there. So many amazing details. Konami, Kings, uh, King of Fighters, just amazing stuff. Double Dragon, Doom Collection, Donkey Kong, great color scheme there for Donkey Kong. Disney, we got Mini with the Magic Kingdom Castle. Data East with Robocop. Capcoms, one, two, and three. Cave Classics. Castlevania, Capcom, beat em up, Batman. There's literally nothing left off of here. It's just absolutely amazing. So four player games. So we got some more arcade cabinet graphics there. 
Cody media player there, which I think we had before. Um, so we're getting back into what we already went through, but just amazing what is included in here. So that's pretty much everything that this has to offer, but you can see everything is covered on here. It's just absolutely amazing. I couldn't say enough nice things about this awesome theme for RetroPie. And if you guys are interested in this, definitely jump down to the description of this. The creator has a YouTube channel. He puts out some amazing videos and uh, little sneak peeks at different themes he's working on. His name is Dwayne Hurst, and that's where you get the Hursties um, title for all of these themes. So definitely subscribe to him. He's super talented. He's got just amazing work across the board for all of his themes here. Well, so drop down in the description, throw him a subscribe. Be sure to hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed this video today and you enjoyed the content here. And of course, hit that subscribe button for me here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you guys so much for watching.